Hello, this is Tony Riggs with GoEngineer. In this video, we're going to take a look at the tools to bring in dimensions straight from our model and the sketches. If we look at, you know, maybe coming in and using the regular dimensioning tool, the dimension between these two edges, you know, we're used to getting a dimension very similar to that. But it can be nice to come in and use insert model items to actually pull in the dimensions from the sketch and features. To get this started, we can come in and take a look at what we're going to bring the dimensions in from. We can bring them in from the entire model. Or if we've got a fairly complicated part, it may be nice to bring in dimensions from just a selected feature or two. If we try that, come in and pick on this face, we can bring in those few dimensions that come in from that part. There's a couple here on this top view, and then a couple down here on this bottom view. If you can tell the difference between these two dimensions, one is gray, one is black. The black dimensions are going to be the dimensions that are going to be pulled in from the model itself. You can actually come in and double click on those and change them and they will actually go back and change the model. The gray dimensions, we're not going to be able to double click and, and modify those. We still may maybe have to come in and, and move these dimensions around to get them to orient the way we want them to. So I'm going to come in and undo this a little bit back to the point uh, before we put those dimensions in and we're going to try things again. If we have the feature already pre-selected, say insert model items, it can also come in. Um, but there's an option down here at the bottom, use dimension placement in sketch. So that means you know where the dimensions are, it's going to pull them into that location. So if we say insert model items, uncheck that checkbox and then bring in the dimensions for there. And it's going to let our dimensions come in a little bit nicer than uh, they were at first. They were off in strange locations. If we do come in and insert model items again, maybe bring in everything from the entire model, import it into all views that it can, we've got different options. Uh, by default, dimensions that we add are marked for a drawing, but we can also unmark them uh, for the drawing. We've got uh, circular pattern information and pattern information, as well as tolerances, whole wizard profiles, whole well wizard locations, uh, hole callouts. So maybe we turn that on for this one. We've got notes, surface finish, geometric tolerancing, weld symbols, all the way down to different annotations that we can come in and bring. So let's bring in things from the entire model. Uh, let that think for a second. Again, there's still maybe some cleanup that we want to do to move these guys around. Uh, but it does a, typically a pretty nice job of pulling the dimensions in. Sometimes I think that some of these views uh, may be kind of lonely. Uh, so we've got this 10 millimeter dimension over here. If we hold down the shift key and drag this dimension over to our other drawing view, it'll pull over. Uh, shift will move and the control will copy. But that's just a couple of the options for uh, the insert model items. It's a very useful tool. Uh, but a lot of times I like to mix and match um, inserted dimensions and manually added dimensions. You just don't want to spend a large amount of time trying to get your dimensions to come in exactly the way you want to when you can create them you know, very quickly with just the regular smart dimension tool. So again, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you enjoyed this video.